Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got this. Welcome back to uh, another episode of the IGSSTS podcast, episode 105. Uh, on this one, myself, Squint615, and O-N-E, sit down with the individual named Ryan Shawtime Shaw. Now, uh, Ryan Shaw, if you don't know, is Nashville's own up-and-coming strawweight professional boxer. Yeah, strawweight. He's 5'5", 105 pounder, right? Well, watch this. Whoa. All right, but with that being said, we hope you guys enjoy this one because uh, it was our first fighter on the show. Shout out to Small Axe Agency, our guy Kapo. Uh, he hooked us up with Shaw Time, and, man, uh, we were so anxious to get him over here, and I'm so glad that the kid came through because I promise you at his next fight, me and O and E are probably going to be sitting in the front row talking funky to whoever he's fighting. And uh, after you guys get a glimpse of the kid, I'm sure you guys will be big supporters of him too. Again, shout out to Small Axe Agency, and we hope you guys enjoy it, man. Uh, here we go. Episode 105, Ryan Shaw Time Shaw. Let's go. Uh, Chat Arms TV. Bow. All Yo, real quick, let's take one second, Chad, real quick, yeah, yeah. just to thank one of our sponsors, the GOAT, Mark Gray, over at South Nashville Heating and Cooling. For sure. Right? Those guys are amazing at what they do. They're expert in any type of HVAC services you could ever want. We're talking like expert design, superior service, quality installation since 1985. 85, dude. 85. That's almost 40 that's almost, years. That's just Dude, that's insane. I just turned 40. That's a long time. I'm really old. So, obviously, these guys know what they're doing. You guys need anything like that? Let me show you. These guys right here, they're the guys to call. Y'all see the name, the number, anything you may need, South Nashville Heat and the Cooling can get it done. For sure. And what better time to have them come help right, you out? You said it, dude. It's hotter than two rats making hot, passionate whoopee and a wool sock outside at all yeah, times. That, that, that mean, sounds pretty accurate. You walk outside and you have heat stroke. That That's dead on. I, I totally I agree. Mean, it, Mark's your go-to guy. If you want it blowing snow biscuits in yeah. your crib, you hit up South Nashville Heating and Cooling. Uh, do them a favor. When you get them on the phone, tell them you heard about them when I got some shit to say to the podcast. For, for sure. For what it's worth. But, uh, yeah, one more time. Shout out to South Nashville Heating and Cooling, man. Y'all see the name. Y'all see the number, man. Get at them. It's, uh, I got some shit to say to the podcast, man. We're back like we don't stop because, trust me, we never do. All we do is work. Y'all know me. Fuck you, Squint. That's right. R.I.P. Wizzle fizzle. Forever yeah. and always. Uh, you are tuned in to ChadOrbsTV.com. That's right. And with me tonight, back again. Bleed it. I love it. Bleed dude. it. I we love got it. that motherfucker now. We oh, got that motherfucker now. Yeah. Uh, back there in the corner, Nashville's own, y'all don't even understand. We have... I guess we could say up and coming at this point. I guess we could say that still. I mean, but the kid is currently five and zero as a professional boxer. Yeah. Nashville's own Ryan Shawtime Shaw yeah, is with yeah, us this yeah, evening. Yeah, Let's give yeah. a round of applause for that yeah, guy. Yeah. That's for you, kid. So uh, nice to have you with us. We haven't Appreciate had a we man. haven't had a fighter on the show yet. First time for you, thanks. right? Uh, we were, we were close to having an MMA guy on here once, and I think. Those aspirations still exist, but uh, he's in a different state. But he has a he's a UFC fighter. But uh, yeah, Ryan Shaw is a five and zero professional fighter, yeah. reigning from Nashville, Tennessee, and just yeah. got his fifth win just recently. Uh, I, he that was, mean he got hands. That's what it is. That's exactly <laughs> what it means. Uh, so how did you? Let's just start. Yeah. When did you start whooping ass? How did it start? Did it have, would, how did this all happen, man? Bro, I just, what was this, 2016, I just wanted to learn how to box. Went That's to, it? Yeah, I went to a boxing gym, and <laughs> I just wanted to learn. Okay. Like, I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to compete or anything. Like, being a pro was not on my mind, being an amateur. Did you have, mind. like, a bag or? A... Nah, uh, so one of my homies that I went to high school with, he uh, found out that he was boxing or whatever. So I just asked him what gym he went to. Started going to that gym and just started learning. And uh, one of the coaches at the gym was like, "Bro, you want to compete amateur?" I was like, 
Hell, I guess I don't, I don't know what all it take, but since I'm in here, why not? And so yeah. that's, yeah, that was really it. Like, I wouldn't even, I just wanted to learn how to do it because I grew up playing basketball. So I was like, man, let me learn how to do something else. Plus, I just needed something, you know, take my anger out on. Yeah, I, I get that. that. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, I told I told Ryan that I'd, I'd seen an interview with him uh, on the Doe with Donut show. Shout out to yeah, Doe. Yeah. Uh, he's out here in the world, too. I've known Doe for a long time. And uh, so I caught a little bit of your story. And yeah. I, and from that, I took away that you did play ball. You played ball for the yeah. majority of your – Yeah, yeah. You know, team, was, yeah. You know, all the way up to college, you were still trying to play ball. Yeah, I was still trying to hoop in college, yeah. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> that's, how, that's how some of the best situations happen, though. Just yeah. Not in boxing. But on the fly, though. Yeah, know? on the yeah, fly, for sure. Fly, and, and, yeah. not, and when I said that response, not in boxing, it doesn't mean it can't happen. It's just yeah. like – that's kind of it's just different. It's yeah. a different type story, you know. Most yeah. boxers that we see and hear about, they've been doing that shit since they were like four. Yeah, and, and yeah, you don't exactly. and you don't expect them to come out, you know, winning like that, right? Yeah. You, you but, know, what I mean? in or, a sport like that, or like their family is like oversaturated in boxing, yeah. and they're just kind of yeah. like bred that way. Yeah, so exactly. Any of that, like any any yeah, like pops was a boxer. Nah, so I have a cousin. Like he actually uh, my strength and conditioning coach. He was the only one that kind of. Got into it, but other than that, I'm the only one to do it. So mm-hmm. it's new for everybody, pretty much. Like my mom, it's it's really new for her because she's still at the fights. Like, oh, don't hurt my baby. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, oh, she she be I nervous. Imagine, so. dude, like what mamas should be like when they're yeah, 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 yeah. That makes perfect sense. But to me. nah, like none of this was my intention. So you know, I just picked it up, and I ain't gonna lie, having a uh, background in another sport helped because they say like. Good basketball players make good boxers. Okay. So, oh, like, really? Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's that's the saying. I'm just now. I'm just now hearing that. So shout out Jackie Moon. He in the building. Yeah, I'm just now hearing that. So, uh, I mean, yeah, probably, man. Probably so the, the footwork and the all footwork. That yeah, it's it's everything's pretty much the same. So once I just learned the basics, man, everything just kind of came together on its own. Like I was a natural. Like yeah, obviously I was a you natural. So, so uh, d- what position did you play basketball? Point guard. Yeah, yeah, makes so, sense. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm my, I'm nothing but shit. five for five, 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 five. Yeah, five, so, five, so, five, five so, so that makes you like what, what weight class? I, I'm a, I'm a uh, straw weight minimum weight. Okay. I fight at 105 pounds, 105 yeah. pounds, and it's cool because you don't wild. see that's unbelievable. You don't man. see a lot of you don't see no Americans at that weight class. So I'm already a uh, period. Yeah. I'm already you can already sell me like right, African American right. fighting at 105 pounds, like million percent. You don't see that, so no. I'm already marketable off off the strength of that. Yeah, so, it's uh, cool. Hispanic, Puerto Rican, and, and Japanese, Japanese guys. Yeah, yeah, so that's a fun fact right there. Man. So no, definitely already, a fun fact. Yeah. yeah, I'm already marketable just off the strength of that. So, uh, yeah, you you want us over just being from here? <laughs> yeah, that, man, yeah, that's yeah. all it took, man. I was like, he's from here. Yeah, he's yeah, on the way. Yeah, Let's get it going. He got extra stripes because he, you know, what I'm saying, found out he li- used to live around the way. So, yeah, 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 yeah definitely got one coach. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Uh, but the, I think, I think it's almost mind blowing. It really is, man. When I think about how. You played ball so long and then just, yeah, just boom off like aggression. Well, you said you looked at it as an outlet for aggression, just, yeah, to yeah, or just whatever. another coping mechanism. So when you different. walked in there initially, like when your homie gave you the gym name and you called down there, did you have to like pay to go there and shit? Nah, so they told me, uh, should just go buy some hand wraps, come back the next day, see how you like it. Then we'll talk about like gym fees and stuff. So I did that and shit what, just started training. What was the biggest, like the hardest part of the transition? Uh, man, I'm I'm a perfectionist, so I I would like to learn everything in one day. Like, you learn something new every day in boxing. Like, I'm still learning stuff. There's people that's been doing it for years. You know what I'm saying? They still mm-hmm. learning stuff. So just understanding, like, bro, you can't. You really can't get this sport all at one time. Straight like, up. Yeah. I be thinking about, you know, my progression from when I first started till now. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn! I thought I was good then. Like, I'm looking yeah. at myself now. Like, bro, yeah. nah. Like, yeah. So yeah. just, man, yeah. Just trying to. I was trying to learn everything in one day, and I was just like, man, it. But it's different. Well, it's different. But that takes me back to my comment a minute ago about how it's just like mind blowing to me because when you say you want, you're a type of person that wants to learn everything in one day. Yeah. Well, you you may have failed doing it in one day, but you've done it in a small amount of a years. small amount man. of time, man. Yeah. People don't understand yeah. that. I tell them, 
Shit, I've been boxing since I was 21. I'm 27. That's not a long time. That's definitely boxing. not. That's not a long time at that's all. A, so. That's like some Jake Paul shit. Yeah, yeah. low key. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just how, how I know. How do you feel about Jake Paul being a boxer? I, I, I think yeah, he's I mean, a fucking monster. Yeah, he making it happen. So, and I mean, he got the resources to yeah, get for sure. to get better quick. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, he doing his thing. Like, and, and why he's, not? He's marketing. He's, he's yeah. walking market. Why not? Yeah. Why not? So, uh, so before yeah. he canceled his last fight, did you see who that was against? Uh, Rasad. Uh, uh, I seen, seen Rodman Jr. Uh, oh, he was going. He was going to get rocked. Excellent. If 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 Rodman Jr. didn't take a dive, he would have rocked. He would have rocked him. Mm. That's the interesting watched, to hear you say that. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If he if if he they didn't pay him extra to take a dive, uh, he would have rocked that because our listeners and watchers know. That I swing for Jake Paul. I was, yeah. I was up here saying Jake Paul's gonna knock it, whoever they nah, put in there. Right, man. I, I like Jake Paul though. Like he nah, he he's he becoming a real deal, man. Like, I like how you were this yeah. that you he's serious. He yeah. was dead serious yeah. with his but, response though. He's like, oh, he's gonna be rocked. But, yeah. But dude dude was a a, a boxer boxer though. Yeah, yeah. Robin Jr. yeah, his yeah, Robin Jr. is it that dude is the truth. Like he's yeah, a he legit a big guy. Dude. But he, he had, fought heavyweight, right? Yeah. It was it, coming down to coming down. So yeah, they it was just, that's why the fight got canceled. Yeah, he couldn't make weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Jake Paul keeps yelling that and I see that part of the marketing plot. Like I really do. Like Jake Paul's talking about, yeah, he dropped out the fight, he backed out. No, right, dude. Right. You tried to take a heavyweight fighter and make him a, a yeah, they should have just uh, met light heavyweight, two hundred five. That's some light type of catch weight right? or something. But something. Man, that, that would have been the toughest one by far. Cause Rodman Jr. the real deal. Man. Like the whole family, they you got this the dad. He a Hall of Famer. Then exactly. you got the little brother. I met the little brother. Um, what's his name? Uh, Sharif. Oh, Sharif. Man, that dude. He nice. So I'm uh, just like, man. He was. He was up against something. Yeah. See yeah. that. Yeah. That is a perfect example though <laughs> of how. Boxers modern day are bred, just like yeah, that yeah. guy. The whole yeah. family, the whole family, takes yeah. a swing at the shit. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it always starts from the generation before them, and then them. You know what I mean? Like it's it's yeah. like grandfather type shit almost. Nah, it's for like real, part for of real. the family. It's generations. So. Yeah. So when you took the when you decided to hit the gym, and right. you know you taped up for the first time, and you start right. hitting a bag or or you know exchanging with whoever, women, yeah, however, yeah. did they approach you? And was like, bro, you should. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they approached this sort of both of coaches was like, asked me how much I weighed at the time. And they was like, do you want to compete amateur? I was like, shit, I don't, I don't know what all it take, but since I'm in here and since y'all asked me, why not? Right, well, you got to lose. I mean, yeah, what right, I, right, yeah, right. exactly. So, I and at the time, doing, ball really wasn't panning out where you were in college, nah, right? Nah, See nah, what I'm saying? but so, the crazy thing is, like. That's where all the aggression came from, yeah, probably. The crazy thing is just my work ethic towards yeah, that. Just yeah. it, it all crossed over. So, so you, you used to training anyway. Yeah, I was yeah. used to training. I was used to putting in hours anyway. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, just, so is it – well, I'm assuming that it's a whole lot more training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than, yeah, than yeah, it is, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. ball. But is it is it like like a crazy amount or is it something similar? It's really you, you – what what's the saying – uh, you get out what you put in. That's real. Boxing, really, that's real. like that's that's really all it is, man. Because, man, I know guys that you know train constantly. But I mean, even when you train constantly, you have to have some type of skill. Okay. Because yeah. say you put in hours and hours and hours, and you meeting a person that put in those the same amount of hours you putting in, but they got some type of skill. Mm-hmm. Then you up against something like it takes more than just being in shape and stuff. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, you got to right. have some type of skill. Yeah. yeah. So your trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Are they the ones that that made that pitch to you? Like, man, why don't you try going amateur yeah, or yeah. something like that? Are they still involved with your career right now? Nah, nah, they not. I have a man. I, I've been through trainers because just from switching gyms and stuff. Yeah. That's just, it just. Came with it, just getting new new coaches and whatnot. Yeah, so, I mean you're right. probably tearing nah. up as you go. I would say. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But the trainers I got now know they're gonna they're gonna be with me to the end. Like I I got the right group now. You know what I'm saying? I, I know facts. I got the right group. You that's know? Real. So that's real. And yeah, that's, that's still facts. local. They're local too. Yeah, they local facts. No. I got the right group now. So we 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 ready, man. Like I, yeah, I'm ready. That's real. Because no. I got the I, I got the I got the right people now. I'm not saying the people before weren't right, but yeah. I know facts now. Like. What? Just people I got out. now, yeah. People yeah. I got now, they they're gonna be with me to the end. So but, go ahead, one. So 
I, I always heard that like boxers have to be careful like out on the streets and shit like yeah. no motherfuckers test you motherfuckers want to try you and shit like that right there you can't actually use your hands out on the street like that honestly i haven't signed nothing yet to say my hands Hell yeah, are registered. Said, don't try them i haven't tried i haven't signed anything yet but the thing is like I just don't be walking around with my chest up talking about yeah. shit. I'm somebody tried me, you know. I'm right. five yeah. and those. Yeah. I just yeah. let like, I just let people find out on their own. Because I mean, even yeah. if like, if I'm at a bar, somebody will look at me and be like, "This right, right. nigga, I'm finna try him." Right, you know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I don't go out like that, so I haven't had that happen. But it just feels good to know like I can protect myself and people around me if it comes to that. Right, and right. That you just gonna find out. Right, and after right. that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, then that <laughs> I, I always thought that was fucked up, though, man. I mean, because yeah. motherfuckers will, they'll know that you box and then get the feeling they self and want to try. I'll whoop it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah, why I don't do tell nobody, man. I don't tell nobody none of that. You either find out through my social media if somebody just happened to know it and tell you, I don't walk around, you know, flexing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do. Man. That's it. That's just, that's just funny. You look like a I, you look like a boxer when you came in here, like you just left the gym <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, did for sure, yeah, million percent. But you look. I mean, I think it's going to come more the bigger the you know the more wins. Yeah, yeah, There's going to yeah, be yeah, plenty yeah, more yeah. of that, especially fighting at the weight you fight it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think that uh, you know. Shout out to the guys that asked you to be an amateur. Yeah, shout out. No, yeah, real talk. Sure. Because real uh, talk, shout out to them. I think they they saw a vision. Mm-hmm. Rather it be in your initial skill, or it be yeah. in, or it be in an African American flyweight, mm-hmm. strawweight, have yeah. you, you know, whichever. There, they probably looked at that, and with your initial skill, saw something. Yeah, they're like, wait a minute, yeah, we this kid can do something that's not normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's. Yeah. Those are feats that are hard to achieve in this taste world, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. you know, there's so much like success from every angle of the world nowadays yeah. you know what i mean but uh boxing it, it's, it takes combative sports period man is some of the most admirable shit ever because regardless of you being only 120 pounds sitting there right now and yeah. being able to cut weight down to 105 that's and only, just impressive yeah. man. that's crazy that's impressive. to me <laughs> right but i promise you i wouldn't want it i wouldn't want to smoke yeah, because I just know you're a boxer, and I know yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. You're at a professional level now, so yeah. why would I want that smoke? But yeah. you gotta think, man. Motherfuckers do that. Motherfuckers. Do that shit for for. And profession. that's what I try you know to tell saying? people. Mm. I try to tell people like the time you take out, the time you put in doing what you love. That's what mm-hmm. I do towards fighting. Yeah, mm-hmm. so exactly. it's different. Like you know, the time you take to put in in rapping. Yeah, your rapping is my boxing. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Like your yeah, craft. Yes. My like you know, and I so I just try to explain that to people. Like it's a lot, bro. Man. It's a it's a lot. Like people, they don't understand like the work you have to put in. They just see you in there, and yeah. they they assume that you already making thousands or millions. I'm like, bro, it don't it don't work right, out that shit. way. You still got to nah. It don't work out that way. Yeah, and and Ryan, shout out to Ryan off off camera. You made a comment to me that kind of stuck with me till we started this evening, where you said, uh. Or maybe I saw it on on that interview with Doe. Shout out Doe. Yeah, yeah. When you said, uh, "I'm that, already knowing you got to do and do the things that people hate to do." Well, that, is that the, was that one. Is that though? Is that the one? There's a, there's plenty of things like that along that line. But what you said was that the flyweight, strawweight, those type divisions don't get as much televised time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, they don't. And I they think don't. that's a very important factor. Yeah. But there's also not a poster person for that nah, vision not yet which you means know, it's wide open do you hear what he said though he said not yet yeah yeah i like that <laughs> yeah i like yeah. that yeah that's called manifestation that's just the, i'm just waiting because i'm starting to get love now like mm-hmm. i'm start people starting to see me yeah. so it's just right place at the right time mm-hmm. then seen by the right person yeah so Man, it's I, just, I, that's why I, I, just, would, I'm just, I would love to see you knock a big motherfucker out me too <laughs> that's <laughs> me so too. how does that work in your head yeah. Like being where you are now, a professional yeah. boxer, you know, like say O N E. You know, O N E is a big don't use I got me, to. You're sitting right next to him. O N E is a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> and say uh, someone of that size was right next to you in the street running his fucking mouth, and yeah. you're like, bro, if you only knew right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that I can knock your teeth out. Mm-hmm. Does that influence you to show him? Or I'm st- 
make you hit the brakes more towards yourself? Like, how does that work? I'd be like, bro, right. I want to show motherfucker. Yeah, I, they, yeah, I would too. I would just, say something. I would too. I don't. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have the discipline to be a boxer. I would just, I, I'd if, be in all kind of trouble. If it came down to it, I just get mine off quick before he grabbed me. Because if right. he grabbed me, it's a wrap. Because he's yeah, bigger see, than me. So I, I would just get mine off as quick as I can, and he wouldn't see it coming at the end of the day. And I, I bet you and it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be accurate. I bet he's fast as fuck. Fast as fuck. It's gonna be accurate, and you know, it's gonna have some on it. So I'm gonna get mine off quick before he grabbed me. Because if he grabbed me, there's nothing I can do at that point. I yeah, just got that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I just got to take it. Yeah. <laughs> See, you I got, hope I get up. <laughs> you got you got to know like where to hit motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, shit, and shit like that, right there. Like you, you can hit a motherfucker at the, in, in the weirdest spot, but it be the painful motherfucker. Yeah, you know what the I'm ones saying? they don't even in the ring. The one you yeah. don't see coming is the one that'll get you. Yeah. So if you don't see it coming, mm. hey. Uh, want to know a fun fact? Out of the five professional fights that Ryan Shaw has, they're all a win. Mm-hmm. All by all before the third round. That's crazy. Fourth round. Help me. Yeah, all, they all been that's like crazy. first and second. So, that's see what crazy. I'm saying? Like, that's, that's talk crazy. your shit, kid. Like, that's a flex, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody yeah, made yeah, it to yeah, the third yeah. round yet. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why you start we getting got looks, one coach. Yeah, yeah like, so. Yeah. Look, I mean, dude, that sounds like a fucking poster child to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah. So, what? what is the, the, the amateur road? So, I know the amateur road was a short road for you. Yeah, it was super short. Because some amateur fighters fight. Shit, Give me yeah. an example of what like an average amateur fighter experiences before going pro. Man, like, I have no idea. Anywhere from like, man, I say on average, 50 to 100 fights. And 50, 50, like, I'm just saying 50 because I know some That's people. Average, that, yeah, I don't, average. I don't know some people that turn pro at like 50 fights, but a lot of them. That's been doing it since they were like kids. Kids be having over 100 amateur fights. But for me, I only had six because I was just six. like. Six. Yeah, the, it's just the amateur style and the pro style is different. How and so? So amateur, you just go in there and swing. If, as long as you're aggressive, you so can win. So unorthodox is fucking just Yeah, quit. so yeah. that's how I lost my last amateur fight. Mm. The guy didn't hit me. They said I boxed him too much. So I was just like, bro, I'm not finna waste right. my time right, right. going through this. So, I mean, and I just felt comfortable with my skill. And, like, I used to go out to California a lot. And I used to go out there and spar, like, world-class fighters. Like, California is big in boxing. Yeah, like, yeah. That's where a lot of people go to train. So I used to go out there. I mean, I used to give me props out there. So the same stuff I was hearing here, like, I'm good. If I, you know, apply myself to this, I can really do something. Man, I went to California, and I was hearing that. So when I went to California, like, yeah. one of the Meccas, and they was telling me that, I was like, bro, I just got to believe in myself. Because yeah, I'm yeah. talking about, like, world-class trainers, world-class fighters telling yeah. me, bro, if mm-hmm. you really want to do this, you can do it. Like, this is something. when I had two amateur fights. And they was like, bro, how many fights you got? I was like, bro, I only got two amateur fights. They was like, you only got two amateur fights. And one cat told me, like, bro, it's no reason, like, you shouldn't, it's no reason you shouldn't be doing this, like, and getting paid to do it. Like, bro, you are good. So, I remember the first time I, first time I sparred out there, like, then nobody really knew me. They knew I was from Nashville. Mm. So, the first time I sparred, man, man, a crowd of people just gathered around the ring. And I was sparring my homie. Well, it turned into my homie after I sparred him. His name is Michael Flores. And he won a bunch of golden gloves, man. And I went in there, man. And should I held my own? Like, you yeah. couldn't tell, you know. Hey, that's you can dope. tell a lot that's of experience dope. versus that's a little dope. experience. So, man, after that, they stopped charging me to get in the gym. And, like, I remember I was sparred again after that. Then one cat just randomly came up to me. He was like, oh, I came at the perfect time because you about to spar. So, you sparred the other day. Mm-hmm. So, dope. man, they just started showing me, man, hella love out there in Cali. Like, they was... Man, you need somewhere to stay. You need a ride back to the airport. What's up? Yeah, Man, they dope. start showing me hella love. So I, I still dope. talk to a lot of people I met out there, and they they they, they see me doing my thing. And How long was that me. trip? When Man, you were out there? I to, so I used to go out there because I had my job. You know, I was my job helped me get out there. Mm, gotcha. So, uh, dope. Should I when I had time off or like my when I have you know my off days, my two or three off days. I would get somebody to cover like some extra days that where I can stay out there for like a week or two weeks, man. Gotcha, and I gotcha. made a lot of connections out there. So yeah, man, man they still hard. show me love. They still, man, they still show me love. Did you so, see any? Uh, were there a lot of fighters your weight class out that uh, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So man, it's a lot more common out yeah, that yeah, way. It's, it's super common, man. Oh. One day it was like eight of us in there. 
Cool. And I was like, oh, shit, yeah, this is this is where it's at. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, they, they still show me love out there. And this is when I was going out there when I wasn't nowhere as near as good as I am now. Like, yeah. So far, so 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 far, what's like which what's been your your favorite like place to fight? I'm- See, I've only I haven't fought many places yet. Okay, so just out of the just out of the places I fought, man, like I want to fight here more because this is where my family and friends are. But right, right, like I've only fought here once. So I fought in Oak Grove, Kentucky, like at the little casino joint. Three times, and I love it out there because I done built up a fan base out there. It's okay. like, so I love fighting out there because, like I said, I built up a fan base, and it's just, just that like casino vibe. It's cool. Like it's, I a bet. Good, it's a good atmosphere. Yeah, people drinking and shit. I yeah, mean, you know, winning good, money and it's shit. A good everybody there on a the vibe. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love fighting out there. Uh, I think though, I, I can't get over the six amateur fights and then yeah, switching bro. to professional. I was just like, and that was is is that a fighter's own decision to do that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, and your coach got to be like, "Fuck you, you coach! Know. I'm out there <laughs> swinging." Your coach got to trust you because technically, your coach is supposed to, you know, he's supposed to protect you. He's supposed to have your best mm-hmm. interest. Yeah, that's, so, yeah, that's real. Yeah, it's up to the, you know, you and your coach got to be in agreement too. But, fuck, but it got to be between you and your coach because I mean, it, my old coach, man, it would he would be listening to everybody else on their opinions. I'm just like, it's cool to like. You know, get advice, but like, if you really trust me, no matter what they say, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It shouldn't matter. So. Yeah, but it had, to, it had to be some for real trust, though. You're talking about the average, yeah, yeah. average fight is fight of the amateurs, what you said, 50 to 100. Some man, shit yes, like that, right there. But, man, some of them be having over 100. That's you crazy. Me? So, and you and you don't have to say no names when I ask this. I'm, I'm over here debating to myself personally yeah, yeah, if I should yeah. ask this, but is some of your previous relationships severed because they, you felt like they were trying to hold you back, man. Some, yeah, yeah. Some of them tried to hold. Well, wasn't moving fast enough. It wasn't that one. Was one. I just knew he wasn't gonna be my coach forever because he, he just, man, lack of commitment. Like, gotcha, he, gotcha, gotcha. It's that. Then one coach just up and quit on me mm. after telling me, you know, you good, you can do, you had the most upside anybody I trained. And one coach, man, just dogged me out. Like, I had broke my right hand. Bro was like, man, you damaged goods. You done. Ain't nobody going to deal with you. Damn. So, yeah, yeah, he did me like that. So I was just. Because you broke your hand? Yeah, but that was, I'm glad he told me. I'm glad he did that. Because that's that was like a real deal turning point. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was just it, like. Fuck yeah, right, fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be, yeah. So when he told me that, I was like, all right, I can either let him. Predict how I move, I can still predict how I move. Mm-hmm. And shit, ever since then, man, man, I done, he done bought a shirt with my face on it. And he done, I done, he a fan now. So I was just like, it's just how I got to do him. Turn him into fans, you know, Hell make yeah. him regret. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Talk that's your shit, kid. Yeah, that's just turn, up. that's what that's what the podcast called. Right. <laughs> yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. So, nah, yeah, I just was like, bro, this is just turn him into fans, you know. So. I get it. When yeah. You, when you you say you broke your hand. Yeah, yeah, I broke my hand sparring. Mm. What was, what was just, the recovery like? Yeah, what's that like? The bro, recovery. Time. I was still in the gym. I was still throwing. I broke my right hand. I was still in the gym throwing my left hand. Because it's such a and common that's thing. That's dedication. Yeah. But in combat sports, they can they say that all the time. Like you always hear. Yeah, and, people always break their hand. Yeah, it, it so. seems like MMA more. I, I can ref, I can revert back to like MMA. You know what yeah, I mean? I can't yeah, speak yeah. on boxing really much no more. I really can't. Like it seems like I used to watch boxing so much more. But boxing was so much more exciting. Yeah. In this, I, in the era was. I'm referring to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not saying it's not now because it's a lot more now than it has been in a long time. And I think that's all because just the bullshit that's involved. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot. But it sets up dope fights. Yep. It really yeah. does. Like, I think uh, we, were, we were talking about Jake Paul, and I think his whole little run at this shit yeah. and what he's doing for fighters or trying to do for fighters and giving yeah. them platforms, et cetera, I think that shit's admirable as fuck. I yeah. think it's dope as shit. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you about this MMA box. I'm mean, MMA fighters with the uh, fighting boxers. Like, how do you yeah. feel about that? Man, it's cool, but I was trying to like when Conor McGregor fought Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Like, People from the outside looking in, like, they see Conor McGregor. They hear MMA fighter. He can beat Floyd Mayweather. He bigger. Mm-hmm. He younger, this and that. I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, nah. Like, 
It's Floyd Mayweather. He's been doing it yeah. for a year. Yeah, like, he's been doing it for a year. Been, and we saw yet. it. You feel me? And I'm just <laughs> yeah. like, this is Conor McGregor. Like, he's crossing over to another sport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot Completely more, different sport. It's a lot more. T- yeah, it's a lot more technical. Like, you don't, like. I don't see how Conor McGregor just didn't wrap his shin around his forehead. Yeah. Like, if I, you train your I whole thought, life MMA, like, yeah. there'd be no way. Like, if you just caught me the wrong way, I'm shooting on you, bro. Yeah. Like, we're going, yeah. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to break your ankle in front of the world. Reflexes, right? Right? So, or something. That's why I was just like, he's not going to beat him. Like, I get and I'm, and I'm, the, so. I'm the guy rooting for Conor McGregor. Yeah. And by the fifth yeah. round, I was like, nah. Man. And, yeah. and that's the thing, though, man. The, that's, that's Mayweather, man. And in, 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 in boxing, man, you got to be a lot more disciplined. Man. It's, a, it's a lot more, it's, it's more rounds. Yeah, more rounds. Yeah. You you set up your shots. Like, not saying yeah, MMA, yeah. not saying MMA. You don't set up your I'm shots. Better, but in boxing, man, you really like you. Shout you, out Jack you Boxing, Moon. man, you really set up your shots, and I'm starting to see that now. Like you boxing, man. It's man. It's a painting pictures. It's, a, it's man. It's really like it's really chess. Yeah. Like I'm starting to see that. Like, bro, boxing is really chess. Yeah. Like it's not. You just go in there swing. Because when I used to watch it before I started. I'm like, why well, ain't going there and just knock him out? Why ain't going in there swinging? But nah, it's a lot more to it. Hey, that's how old boy got laid out. Oh, uh, what's the, the basketball player? Uh, Nate Robinson. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that was like yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was a bad. Oh one, man, dude. I was so. Hey, honestly, I knew he was gonna lose. But, not that but I ain't. Yeah, yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't expect it to be like that. Oh, like that. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> Worse than Woodley. Man, I don't know. Woodley no, was pretty bad too. No, but uh, at least. No, Willis, look, Willis was that was bad. I mean, because Willie's a fighter. You know what yeah. I mean? So who fought Mayweather better? Logan Paul or Conor McGregor? That's a good question. Because Mayweather went or McGregor went ten with him. Yeah, I think. see the thing was with McGregor, I Mayweather dragged that one. Because I'm just he, like he could have laid it. Yeah, him. a lot of yeah. people is like, yeah. man, McGregor landed more punches than Pacquiao. I'm like, bro, it's different. Floyd Mayweather said he was gonna go, just gonna go in there and try to walk him down. So yeah. when you walking somebody down like that Mexican type of style, that mm. what is that? What's that word? Machismo? That tough yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. going? You gonna take some hits because you just walking forward at this point? Mm-hmm. Like if I'm not, if I don't feel like I'm at you know, harm by your punches, right? I right. take, I take a couple to land some. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I think with that, that's what he kind of did with that. Then when he ended it, he ended it. Yeah, yeah, because you because uh, you could see that yeah, it was getting to a point where yeah, like, yeah. He got, his dude, legs McGregor, were gone. he got so tired. His it was, legs were it was gone, sad. Man. It really no, was I sad. Didn't, I didn't realize how big, how much more bigger Logan Paul was. Tall as fuck. Oh, I didn't know he was yeah. that much bigger yeah, than Floyd Mayweather. So I just feel like I, Floyd might have was like, I ain't finna take no chances getting hit by that because that might. I was a little scared yeah. for. Yeah, I was a little scared for. If he would have caught a solid one, it ain't no telling what would have happened because Logan Paul is a big dude, and I'm sure he can hit. Yeah, I, I know hit. he can hit. I bet he can. Yeah, I He's know he can hit. But but that just goes to show though, man. Like like that's this Mayweather, man. That's that's the dude. Like ain't nobody, ain't yeah, nobody gotta, been able to do that out. for a reason. He got to yeah. figure it out, yeah. man. He got it. He got to figure it out. That's just bananas. That's, to as me. far as yeah. far as what get you points, you know yeah, what I'm saying? He, he how, how to maneuver in the ring and all that, right there, I man. Dude, the dude is a monster. I know a lot of people talk about him, you know, because he. 50, what, 51 and 0? Mm-hmm. Like 20-something yeah. knockouts. People yeah. talk about... You think about, he'll fight again? He I, might. I hope not. He will. He might do some exhibition. You know who he's going to fight? Who? <laughs> Conor McGregor. You think? Yeah, that. For another, for another 100 million? <laughs> it's going to happen. And McGregor's going to be twice as big. Yeah. Like big. Honestly, if I was McGregor, I'd do it again. It's going to happen. McGregor got the bag. Why do you right think there? we haven't seen Conor McGregor fight since he broke his leg? Mm-hmm. And you think he's gonna get out there and fight MMA with a metal rod going through his shin? Especially, especially when he don't make when he didn't man he made more money with that Mayweather fight. That than one he did. fight, yeah. that one. When what did he make? A hundred? Uh, yeah. I think was, he made close. eighty. It was yeah. And Mayweather made like one forty or yeah. one ninety or man, some shit. I'll get out stupid. there for eighty. I'll get out there with with, with, man, with Floyd. We, like, oh, I get out there for twenty. Man, what? <laughs> for real? Yeah. I, for honestly, sure. man, if I'm being honest, man, give me half of that. Uh. Logan Paul is going to fight Andrew Tate. I want to see no, that. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, Logan Paul is going to fight Andrew that. Tate. Jake Paul is going to fight KSI. And Conor McGregor will fight uh, Mayweather. I want to see that Tate fight. I just, I just predicted the future. You're welcome. I wouldn't mind because they, they've been talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I want to see that Tate fight. Yeah, Tate needs his ass whooped. 
<laughs> he catching Man. a lot of smoke right Man, now. He needs, he needs a reality <laughs> and, and, and check. And he deserve it. He deserve but if he wins, it's a big bag for him. Yeah. yeah. But see, that's what I was talking about, uh, Ryan, when we were talking about the damn boxing and the state of boxing. Yeah. yeah. Like, we literally just could spiral into a fucking, almost a comical discussion about upcoming boxing matches. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's that's why I went when you couldn't do that back in the Don King. No, though. fuck you know no. We could talk about celebrity death match on MTV. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. And now these motherfuckers are like taking it to the ring, like for real. Yeah. So so who you think the the best boxer of all time is? All time. All, all time. time. That's a hard one. That's deep. That's a hard one. Uh but what I because every like every just like in basketball, like every era has that. Athlete. One or two guys, you okay. know what I'm saying. So it's okay. kind of hard. Like that's real. all time is kind of like hard. Jordan versus LeBron. Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. Co- yeah. and think about yeah. think about his scenario. He's not boxing bread, bro. He yeah, didn't come up yeah. watching yeah. countless hours of boxing. That's he didn't. True. He wasn't like getting motivated by a, a family member or like yeah. pushed to Roy hit the Jones, bag. Like, yeah. Jogging I, I after school and shit like that. It's not. This is not the Rocky story. Man, I I knew like the uh, the popular boxers when I started. But shit, I didn't really start watching it till I started. I mean. Like so, so, I knew the popular guys, but once I started getting into it, I I actually like started looking up fighters and stuff because okay. I would hear names. But like now, I'm really in tune. But when I first started, so I just knew the common people. So who's, so people. who's your who, who's your guy right now? Damn, right yeah, now, that's yeah, fighting right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, should I like Tank? Javante hey, Davis, I like man, I like Tank. I like man, Tank. I love watching like Tank, Tank fight. I like Tank. Tank is a beast, man. Yeah, that yeah. dude is man. His confidence, man. Yeah, I mean, I the first time I saw Tank him fight, fight man, it, it fucked me up because I just knew he was gonna get knocked out, right? And the only reason I knew he was gonna get knocked out because when he he looked at the dude and he had his hands behind his, back. He, he looked like he was he was showboating. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, oh man, he gonna let. I'm thinking he, he, he gonna get knocked out. Yeah. Man, dude, then last. I think it was like two rounds. Yeah, I love like Tank put dude on his ass, man. man. It's, it's, it's a couple. Up other, it's a couple other guys because it's some. It's some really good Spence. boxers now. Yeah, Errol Spence. Spence hard yeah. too. Yeah, Errol Spence. I hard, love good man. boxing setups, man. Yeah, like when it's just a good when there's a good storyline to it. You know, like Wilder and Fury, like that was yeah Tyson man. Fury a beast too, man. Yeah, yeah. and that's that that's Fury, a crazy nice. story. I love his story, yeah. like how he yeah. just fucking said fuck it and got like addicted to drugs and hookers man. and shit. Man. About three four, he was about three hundred pounds, some close to that. Yeah, and now look at him four hundred. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and I, I had Wilder both times. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I like I like to see uh, when people get in there and they and like disrespect the fucking craft and get knocked out. What's the old boy used to be with uh Mayweather? Um, What's his name, man? Broner, Broner, Broner man. This, yeah, I mean, that right dude, here, man. man, that dude used to be good. Man. Yeah, yeah, but he, and he just he now did. backed out of a fight. Yeah, he did, he for uh, mental it. well, mental health. And it's a, it's a, it's an interview he did. He was basically kind. I just felt like he was, and I get what you're saying. Like it's him and Floyd homies, but yeah. he was like, if Floyd really my homie, we'd do an exhibition match and both get a hundred bands. I'm just like that, but that's not his. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not his responsibility. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to take ownership for. And on top of that, man, you're not even going to take it serious. Yeah. It's, it's several fights you've know, seen this man where he just didn't take it serious. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, man, that dude, Broner used to be hard body, right? man. Yeah, like I said, uh, when he backed out of this most recent fight for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. mental health, they said that's the first time anyone's ever used that excuse to get out of a fight. Really? Yeah, yeah so that's a shame on him type shit. Like, nobody, everybody's like, oh, dude, come on. And, and he's done blown the bag. They say he went. Fucking broke at one time. Like he was getting broke. He, he was getting it. He was getting it, man. He was definitely getting it. They threw boxing and like threw him rapping. Yeah. Like his own, yeah. man. He was yeah. getting it. He was yeah. getting yeah. man. I Adrian forgot about Broner. the music. Yeah, yeah, Adrian Broner was, man, he was up. Shout out Adrian Broner. Yeah, I, I like I yeah. like AB, man, because he, man, he used to be. Get serious, AB. Yeah, serious I, AB is dangerous, man. That dude is dangerous. I love the ones that talk shit, man. If they you can talk, talk that shit, shit yeah. bro, and just be. I like the flashy guys, man. I like the dudes that are confident as fuck. Yeah. Like you know, M- M- it, no matter what, no matter what combat sport we're talking, mm-hmm. I love the motherfuckers to just tell you to shut them up. Yeah, yeah, and the crazy I'm gonna talk thing my is, shit. Them, dude, the- them dudes can talk themselves into a hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah, we've man. seen it happen, bro. <laughs> yeah, them dudes talk <laughs> themselves yeah, into yeah, a bad. McGreg- McGregor's that guy. Yeah, oh, McGregor talk himself into bro, bad. Was look, when he fought, marketing gold, look, McGregor's life got crazy when he fought. He was already like up and coming, like crazy in the UFC, and then he got the Jose Aldo fight. Mm-hmm. And it was a title shot. And Jose Aldo was undefeated and hadn't been beat in God knows how long. And at that press conference, everybody's out on stage, and McGregor was late. Mm-hmm. 
And when he came out, he came out in a white mink coat. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he oh, leaned, yeah. he just fucking, the crowd erupts. They're in Ireland. Oh, yeah. Oh, so he's just yeah. on stage oh, loving yeah. life. And he reaches over and grabs Jose Aldo's belt. That's when he's going I, for a two. What, a two what? Remember I this? Remember, I remember that now. Right? I remember that now, yeah. Leads up to the fight the next night. Knocks him out in seven seconds. Hmm. Flying knee, just knee arch. Was it a knee? It was something. Punch, something. Well, I don't know. Lays him the it's, fuck it's out. Been, it's been up. Aldo since. out cold. And it was yeah, just. See. And now he ain't lost. He ain't won though now. At home. Like 17 or something. 2017. He just keeps losing now. That's crazy. I mean, he got the bag, man. He went on the yeah, losing yeah, streak. He's going to get bag. another one. That story is not done. I'm telling you. And when he comes back, he's going to box. They keep talking this MMA shit, but I'm telling y'all, he's got a rod in his fucking leg. Why would you want to kick it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got and one. all the footage got we one. see of him rehabilitating, he's he boxed. power punching yeah, power, bags. Yeah, yeah. And 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 he's been getting the bag even after that fight, after that 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 big fight. With, oh, with dude, Mayweather. he made so much money off that liquor. Man, hell yeah, man. Crazy endorsements. Yeah, mm-hmm. big time. What was the liquor name, though? I can't remember. Man, it, was, ah, it was some crazy shit. shit. I, I actually was looking for it in a liquor store, man. I couldn't I couldn't find it. But. I've got a shirt. Fuck, that'll drive me crazy. Why did you mention that, <laughs> man. man? Anyway, Ryan Shaw, fucking undefeated Nashville native. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> fucking flyweight slash strawweight. Man, I, got, I got to know when that next fight is, we'll man. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll uh, be there. Yeah, we, we're trying to get some before the year over. So, yeah. trying to this. Uh, this would be three fights this year, so which is good. So. That's crazy for like a, a professional fighter. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, right now, even with like right now, we just you know focusing on getting me to ten and zero. Then once we get to ten and zero, then that's when we really gone. Yeah. That's when shit gets serious. But yeah, I've, I've been trying to fight solid competition already. Like my right, first right. fight, I was trying to fight somebody with like fifty five years of experience. So I was yeah, yeah. I was trying to come Shout in and like yeah, I was trying to come in it like that's part of your story now, dude. Yeah, I was trying to come in it, you know, that let's get to it. Dudes, but that's, yeah, I'm, you gotta yeah. you gotta you gotta move smart. Talk you your gotta, shit, Ryan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Don't let nobody bro, you came in this motherfucker, bro. Like I and I've never I've I've got to see like minimal footage on some documentary shit that's yeah. on online of you on YouTube. And I'll make sure Chad puts all them links in below so somebody could tap in and get like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like some footage and shit of you. But bro, when you when you come in and you five and zero, oh, and you you've knocked everybody out or TKO'd them within yeah. three rounds, yeah, and you sit here at at this show and say, bro, I came out trying to fight motherfuckers fifty and zero, oh. like this yeah. is who they're I'll, giving I'll, me. I'll repeat what he said though. Yeah. It's just, it's, we're trying to wait until I get 10 and 10 and 0. 0. Yeah, I yeah. get that. And yeah. I'm just but learning. I yeah. want you to hear, yeah. hear what he said though, where his head's at, yeah, bro. I was He's trying to. Uh, my, yeah, I was trying to come in fighting solid people. So, yeah. I, love I mean, that. I had That's to think about, part. like, just sit down and think about it. Like, they, they tell you, you got to move smart. I mean, of course, you got to move smart just to, you know, get where you want to go. So, right, right, right. like, but at the end of the day, like, I know I'm not, I'm not doing it just to put on the front. Like, nah. I've tried I'm to fight. Out. I've tried to fight guys that are good, but everybody's so re- everybody's trying to protect that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And I, I get it. Like it's some fights you just be like, I don't want to take right now. But I had a guy. I was supposed to fight you live first. It was a guy. He won yeah. a couple of like silver gloves. He, yeah, he was younger. Man, he was saying, "Yeah, we'll come to Nashville and beat you." I'm like, "All right, bet." But then they dropped out the fight two days before the fight. So yeah. I'm just like, bro, I've tried to fight solid guys, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, just moving smart, taking smart fights. But when we get to 10 and 0, like right, right. at that point, it's, it's time to, you know, really start stepping up the competition. So yeah. how important is that O to you? Man, it's important, but I ain't afraid to to risk it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you I don't think you can go in that ring. Cause any you, no matter who you fight, any punch can mm-hmm. yeah, any right. punch. So like this last dude I fought, he didn't have a good record, but he was tough. Mm-hmm. Like the amount he he wasn't the amount of losses versus the you know amount of times he got knocked out. He didn't he didn't get knocked out. He didn't get stopped a lot, but mm-hmm. I managed to stop him. And even with the guys like that, they've seen. All their fights have come against good guys. So gotcha. they haven't, you're not showing them anything they haven't seen. Right, right, right. So those are tough fights too, but I managed to stop them. I managed to get them out there. So I'm like, all right, bet. Like, cool. Like, I know, you know what I'm saying? I, I know, like, I want to do this. I know I want to fight good guys. I've been trying to fight good guys, but, yeah. you know, you just got to move smart. Yeah. yeah you can't, sure, you can't sure. throw yourself out there because, man, 
I said it's a dangerous sport. One punch can just one punch can change your life, man. Mm-hmm. For the good or for the bad. True. Yeah, true, one true. punch can man it can change everything, man. So what's the I'm assuming you have like zero party life. Nah, I man, I I'm an introvert anyway, bro. Right. So like I'm not saying you don't kick it or you <laughs> don't have a good time or you're yeah, not like yeah, fun to yeah. be around. I'm not saying that. But as far as like like when he got here, I'm drinking a Dos Equis. Shout out Dos Equis. Cut the check. But I, I, I offered my man. I was like, you don't want beer or anything, do you? Nah. Like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah. But, I mean, do you kick it like that every once in a while? Do you just get shit-faced drunk? Do you have nah, casual see, drinks? What's that like? Nah, do you smoke weed ever? Nah, What's that I like? I nah, I don't do nothing. I ain't never uh, did it, so I look at it like. Be a boxer. Yeah, I look at it. <laughs> I ain't never did it, so I look at why I started now. Good for you. You know what I'm saying? So That's dope. But like I, I got plenty of homies that I hang with. They smoke and drink, but yeah. they they know like they don't offer it to me or anything. Just no. out of respect, because they know who I am, what yeah. I do. But absolutely, nah. Like I get out and kick it and whatnot. But like for drinking, smoking, I just I ain't never did it. So I just be like, oh, man. do you do you know any any boxers that do like smoke and drink? Ah, yeah, a lot of them do. Okay, a lot of them do. You yeah. see, Mike Tyson got his own. Yeah, you know, yeah we Tyson had some. We had some here. Yeah, oh Mike Tyson oh doing his thing now. You yeah. know what I'm Shout saying? Tyson two point his own strain. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So nah, like plenty of boxers do it. Some do, some don't. But I just happen to be mm-hmm. one of the ones that don't. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't missing nothing. It, it, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nothing. Stay away from it. Like, so what? I gotta ask you about. Yeah, the, yeah, I gotta yeah. ask you about the chicks, man. Like, 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 does does boxing come with the ladies, man? Or man. hasn't yet? Or are you in a relationship? How's yeah, that work? I, man, I just got into a relationship. You into a relationship? You want to know what's crazy? Talk like, the way it happened, I went to do an interview like this. Mm. Okay. She interviewed me. Oh, and we that's, just that's kicked cool. it off after that. I was just like, damn, she dope. She was like, damn, you dope too. And the crazy thing is, the one that was supposed to interview me got sick, so... It put her in a position where she had to interview me. All right, look, look so off the strength of that, we just started kicking it. Then she came to the fight, met my peoples, and shit. That's it rap. It's a yes, rap. it's a rap. So that's a story, right? Yeah, there, I just, man. I just got that's into one. Like I caught her while she was. What know, was the interview? While she platform? was grinding. Can you it was, say? Yeah, it was on the radio station. Oh, okay, Word. it was on the radio station. So yeah, I just did that and local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to yeah, take yeah, us a bit yeah, further yeah. and tell me what site? <laughs> yes, uh, it's, it's Yoko. Okay, right, shout right, out Yoko right. Nashville. Yeah, Yoko Nashville. Yeah, yeah I did an interview for Yoko Nashville. No. Like, that I just, narrows it down. Yeah, I just got into a relationship. Like, dope, man. That's my mind up. just been so, it was just been so focused on boxing to where yeah. I I'll, just don't even be, you feel me? Man, and man, she just popped up and boom. Hey, man. man. Good thing Good thing about that is, <laughs> man, when, 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 when you got a chick, it's still easier to focus on what, yeah. what on, on the task. Yeah, she doing her thing. I'm several doing. Yeah, she man. doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. Yeah. She understand my schedule. Yeah, understand hers. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. She, Shout yeah, out Yoko she, Nashville. Yeah, I love yeah. the way they move over there. Yeah, really Yoko do. Nashville. But yeah, them. before that, like before I got into a relationship, I mean, a lot of females like just clout chase. They used to right, be, right, they right. see you boxing, they assume you making this much. Right. So they just come off the strength of that, but. Right, right. A lot of females don't approach me because they'd be like, bro, you just look like you focused. So mm, I'm just like, okay, yeah, okay. stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, <I get> it, <laughs> stay I away get from me. But so, nah, it's, I know some, man, it, it can get crazy. I, I mean, bet. Yeah, yeah, it can get crazy. Especially after every so dub. Fun. Yeah, it can man. get crazy. What dubs man. you racking in, brother? Boy, they're going to come, man. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. you know what I'm saying? So I'm just happy, you know, I got one now that's solid to where, like, she know, like, She's seeing like firsthand like what's going on yeah. behind the scenes. And like I said, she ain't know nothing about boxing, but she just been supportive. That's you know real. what I'm that's saying? Real. Like she just she take interest into what I'm doing. So dope. Yeah. Good for you, man. That's real. Yeah, the that's way you're real. talking on it, you seem happy with it. So yeah, 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 you know, yeah, encourage yeah, no me. No send on that for sure, bro. No doubt. Yeah, man, because it, it, it I ain't trying to be out here. You talking about nothing out Happiness here in these streets, is hard to find. My you ain't friend. talking about nothing out here in these streets, bro. right? You got, yeah, you, one, not. you got you one, keep you one. Me, really me and my old lady been together 12 years. We split up for two, but right back. And we, we yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you find something special, you stick yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, being supportive of the boxing, man, that's, I yeah, can see how yeah. that could be challenging, but to be supportive of it, salute to her. But uh, yeah, 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 the way you speak on y'all's current relationship or whatever that seems that seems pretty positive thing. The way you just delivered yeah. that, so yeah. shout out to that man. For Keep sure, going. Sure. Uh, and I'm sure amongst all the aggression getting put out, 
there. You got to come home to something. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah you got to no be doubt. somebody no doubt. in your life, man. Uh, I'm glad you came through, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I appreciate right. y'all having me. This Dude, is dope. Man. Bro, well, I told I told Ryan when he walked through the door. I was like, bro, this is uh this is gonna be a little damn. So I call my phone, bro. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just come right back in. All right. Uh, I'm glad you came through, bro. Yeah. Because uh well, I I told Ryan right when he walked through the door tonight that I said, dude, this may be a little different than because the only only interview I've seen of him was with Doe and shout out Doe. But uh I, you know, over here and I got some shit to say, bro. We just sit around and talk yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, we had a structured podcast out the gate where we were trying to do so many different things and you know, we found out that when we're just fucking jump in and go, like it's it's the most natural shit and most appreciated shit. Yeah. Like our viewers and listeners, they they fucking love it, yeah. you know, what we do here. But I uh shout out small acts agency. Yeah, yeah. Capo. Shout out to Capo too. Uh, yeah. You know, Capo hit me up and and told me about Ryan and about his his progression as far as being a pro- professional boxer. And I first heard about Ryan when he was three and oh, I think. And uh he already had the fourth fight lined up and won that. And then the July fight, the the July whatever canceled yeah, fight. I heard first, I was hearing yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh Scared, you know, right? right. <laughs> basically, it's, basically, that's what, it's, yeah, that's what it has to come down to. Uh, but when I heard of his most recent win, just you know, last week, two weeks ago, ten days ago, whatever it was, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad that you took the time to come out here nah, and just, and just sit and, and and shoot the shit with us, man, because yeah, I yeah. I know it may be a different type deal. Like you know, you referenced to us a minute ago as an interview, and I and that's yeah. totally cool. Cause that's basically what we just did. Yeah. We interviewed you, but in all honesty, bro, we're just curious just to what it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah just we're like just a, curious a conver- to, conversation. Yeah. Yeah. What it's like to be a fucking boxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. And to be from yeah. the Ville, and uh, you know, ultimately, before you leave tonight, I want you to know, bro. Like, we fucking with you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, you that. Believe appreciate you that. know what I mean? You, 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 the home squad, bro. Yeah. And, and I love sitting here and and using our platform to talk to a person like yourself because I'm such a fan of combat sports and. Now I'm, I got a new yeah, yeah. boxer, bro. Hey, yeah. That's fucking yeah. sick to hey, me. Yeah, man. And uh, my apologies for not getting you over here sooner. It's not that I doubt nah, you. Nah, you good, bro. This is perfect timing. Yeah, right? Yeah, this is not for real. This is perfect timing. Well, hopefully you've been comfortable and you've had a good yeah. time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm glad O&E was here man, to, hey, to, yeah, man. to hang out with Shit, us. I'm glad I'm here, man. Right? I, I, you, listen, man. You, you got a fan and you got a supporter in Appreciate me, man. It. Yeah. Appreciate you know what that. Mean? I'm, I'm going I'm to damn sure push the needle, man. Ain't got damn it. Right? Y'all check out the kid. Yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, yeah. Know this: when you leave here tonight, yeah. just like that sign says, anytime you have some shit to say, <laughs> pull the fuck back up. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? We do this shit fucking twice a week, and everybody that watches and listens to us wants more than that. Even, so even even if you even if you ain't talking boxing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like yeah, we yeah, we yeah. talk a yeah. lot of shit on here, man. Just yeah, like some real deal shit. Real we, deal we, shit. We don't went from mental health to gout. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Gal. <laughs> that was the name of an episode. Yeah. Shout out Gal. Yeah. No, uh, check uh, out our sounds like Gal. Sounds like Gal. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. Sounds like Gal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we just we what just, a shit show. We just we just talk shit, man, and you know what I mean. Get to know get to know people and shit, man. And, admire people's journey yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's that's what i've done tonight is admire yours and it's, it's, that. it's been dope to hear like a aside from from what i took from the donuts with dough yeah. interview to uh sitting here on i got some shit to say with with me and o and e and us is asking everything in between that i wanted i don't know shit i, I feel like we just hang out all night though really yeah, yeah not nah, cool real, for real. yeah but uh i'm anxious to see what's next for you man yeah you yeah. know because the closer like you said you know it, Y'all's ultimate achievement is foot on the gas. Like you looking for fights, you're hungry, you're you're yeah. ready. You know what Stop I mean? Stop ducking that smoke, man. Yeah, man. Y'all come get this smoke. But when my when my guy gets to ten and zero, I feel like y'all gonna press on the gas even harder. Uh, yeah, 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 may yeah, not have yeah. to as far as like the legwork goes. Like because like you said, you'll start getting looked at ten times more. Yeah. But I I don't know, man. Sky's the limit for you at this point. And it, yeah, man. and when we spoke about that zero. Yeah. And you was I'm, like it's cool, but I'm, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about that weight class, man, and and how rare it is to have an American, They're so especially fast, African American, African, in, yeah. in, that, in that weight class. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you're gonna you're gonna stick out, man. You're, you're definitely real, gonna stick real. out, man. And, it, and it's a, being from the Ville, it's a lot of support. 
that's that's a lot of support, man. I'm sh- salute. Appreciate yeah, it. For appreciate sure. it. Salute, uh, any more local boxers you want to shout out while we're here? Uh, man, you got any? just. I don't know any. Yeah, I mean, this you is know who either. I talked to the other night? Who's it's that? Jelly. And I asked Jelly, because, you know, Jelly, shout out Jelly Roll. Yeah, I just, uh, I yeah, just yeah, saw, yeah. I just my, uh, my, my homie, my homie that I used to train with, cool with Jelly Roll, Austin Dulé. Yeah. Okay, and, yeah. And, and everybody knows from Jelly's social media, like, he is a boxing fan, huge, uh, fighting fan. The gym period. I used to train at, that my first gym I started that he trained at. Right. That's where I met so Jelly Roll. I literally spoke to him, uh, what they, uh, like, two nights ago. And it was when I already had you scheduled. You yeah. know what I'm saying, and I, I mentioned your name to him, and uh, he's like, "No, nah, no, nah, I don't, I don't know." And I was like, "Well, get from when the episode drops, I'll send you the link. Get familiar." Capo put me on the kid. You know what I mean? But he's from yeah. he's a hometown kid, man. We, yeah. we, and he's like, "Oh shit, say less." Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Austin do like he I just saw some footage of him uh, on the on the boat. I mean, on on the on the bus. It's like they parked somewhere. You know what I mean? And. They, it was just all out there sparring. You know, or, or oh yeah, just, they were boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for cardio. And, yeah, jelly exactly. roll. Getting, getting the workout in. And yeah. the and the security team were all yeah. out there boxing yeah, in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Huge fight fans. Right now, it's a, it's it's some boxers here. Like we on the come up, but it's a rat race because we ain't had that one guy. So everybody, it's kind of like if not you, then not me. But it's a it's a couple of us, man. That we got a legit shot. I I know myself. I got a legit shot. Talk your shit. Uh, that's my homie. He from he from the borough. His name Lamar. Morris, he from the borough, man. We just Shout waiting on him. Lamar. We just waiting on Lamar to get going, but man, that dude's special. Lamar, Lamar can, Lamar special, man. So we would just hey, next we time you're in the borough. Going. Next yeah. time you're in the borough, call Lamar, pull up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. talk yeah. your shit, man. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like a, yeah, I, I'm glad that a fighter is here. Yeah, and I'm glad it was you, and I'm glad you're a hometown kid. And I'm glad you're still undefeated. Yeah, yeah, man. Like it's just dope. It's just a dope story, man, bro. And man, it's let us know, bro. right? Yeah. But the I, the best part is though is the kid just dove into boxing. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> like, bro, you know what? I'm about to beat somebody's ass. Or I'm gonna catch a case. I need to go to the gym. Somebody and hit get something. These hands. He probably walked up in there and said, "What I gotta do to hit something?" Yeah. Somebody finna get these hands. Yeah, that's yeah. I just dove into it. Let me learn how to do something else. Amateur. Let me, let me learn how to do something different. And it, one thing led to another. So that's how I know I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh, dude. It ain't 50, no question. When, yeah. dude, an average amateur boxer averages, you know, like you said, what was it, 20 to 50 to 100 to, amateur yeah, so fights? A lot of them be having over 100. The, so, kid, the kid had six and he's gone. I said, forget yeah. it. Yeah. I said so, something. Now, said apparently 5-0 and o is a professional. Yeah, so yeah. do your research. I'll make sure that everything that I – anything you want to be in this comments, the – the title section right here that they can immediately click on to get more of what they didn't get from yeah, you tonight. Yeah, yeah. Like we can put right here and chat will put it in the description so they can click, you know, like that documentary shit yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The YouTube channel, but, uh, Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Cause I want to, uh, I want everybody to tap in, man. Yeah, please. Cause uh, please. we can help build hopefully a, a bigger support team for you here at home, man, because, yeah, uh, yeah. We love what you're doing. I'm sorry it took us so long nah, to catch yeah, on. Man, this was perfect time. I'm telling you, this was perfect. Well, uh, we're, we, we, <laughs> shout out Capo. Yeah, shout yeah, out Capo. Small man. Axe Agency. Small X, yeah. Always making it happen. Capo known for doing that shit, man. But uh yeah, man. Ryan fucking Ooh, Ryan Shaw. Yeah. Shaw Time Shaw. Yeah. You like yeah. the you like the nickname Shaw Time? <laughs> it's yeah. the kid too. They ca- they call him the kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey man. You got me. Oh and E, if you were shit. a boxer, what would your nickname be? Shit, man. <sighs> I don't know. That's a good one. Did you pick that That's yourself or somebody give it to you? Which one? Both. We was just sitting around. So the kid, we was just, so I was like, shit, if I cut this, remove my tattoos, I've been told I look 15. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was like the kid. Then uh, when I fought here, I was on my, I was uh, messaging somebody on Facebook and I was on my way to the fairground. And I was like, man, I told everybody to pull up because it's shot time. Uh, I was like, shit, that sounds good. Like, okay. Showtime, Showtime, so the play on words. Yeah. So I was like, all right, that's another one we're going to keep. Nah, for sure. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, uh, ain't, no, ain't no telling, man. What, what, what about yours, man? Uh, I'll probably go with something silly, man. Like, it would probably be something really yeah, stupid. I, I, I'll probably go with something silly, man. Like, yeah. It'd be like Big Nuts or something. <laughs> Ball Buster. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> something saying? like that. Yeah. It would be something stupid. It'd be like that where you just think I'm a joke. I'd be, I'd be dressed in something goofy and shit. You got specific colors you wear the ring? Nah. Uh, this last one I had one with like a leopard print. 
Not there you go. Yeah, yeah, just some just African thing. Yeah, 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 cause, yeah, rock yeah, with yeah. that. Yeah, because like, I'm real sure. close to the, I'm real close to the Ethiopian community okay. here in Nashville. So yeah. they basically like adopted me. So okay. I just yeah yeah run yeah. with that shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been running yeah. with it. Bro. Hell yeah, man! That's I've dope. been sprinting with that. Yeah, I'm so dude. yeah, they got a picture of me hanging up and everything in the coffee shop. It's, it's dope, That's bro. Uh, please let us know where your next fight is. Yeah, bro. I got y'all. Yeah, I got man. you. Yeah, I got we, you. We gotta fucking pull up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Man. I'm yeah. excited about we're, it already. We're working on that now. Come yeah, through, hopefully come, it come through with some, you know what I'm saying, Nashville sounds, jersey on, something to let people know, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, a million percent. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Do you got merch and shit anywhere? Or man, we we getting some new shirts together, man. So yeah, that's let what, us know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, need yeah. one of them, too. Yeah, man. we getting some new shirts together. So. All that shit. Well, yeah. dude, I, I mean, real talk, dog. I, I just hope you take away from a... Uh, from coming to hang out with us tonight, uh, man. Yeah. It's, it's more than just a podcast over here. It's a vibe, bro. We hang out, and, and you're welcome here anytime you want yeah, to, bro. Appreciate we're, that. we're anxious to see uh, how many more motherfuckers you can put on the map, bro, man. before it's all over, bro, because we're, we're rooting for you over here, man. Shout out Ryan Shaw, man. You got yeah, anything before we get out of here? Nah, just, uh, like I said, I'm going to just drop the in- Instagram this, link. Man. Hang on. I mean, the, uh, hang on, hang on. That's what fucking sucks about using these goddamn <laughs> phones, bro. What Somebody calls problem? my phone, and it pauses the screen. Yeah. One sec. You you got anything before we get out of here, man? Nah, I'm gonna just drop the YouTube link, the Instagram, and you know. Yeah, but shit. Make sure, yeah. I need yeah, all that. Sure. And we'll put it in the description. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just drop that so people can just stay locked in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. Tap the fuck in, man, yeah, for real. Because the the, the kids, with me. yeah, the kids' stock is growing, and uh, yeah, man, I lo- I love where your mental space is at, man. You seem like a. You're pretty hungry, man. And yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, like I said, yeah. me and me and one are over here anxious just to see the next yeah, fight, yeah. and it's not even booked yet. Yeah. So let us know when it is, ASAP. and we we will be ASAP. there in full support mode. Especially if it's at the casino, man. Right? And come, yeah, I mean, yeah, come yeah, through that that grow, that and we'll move. Too. It don't have to be in the city. Yeah, like we can get the yeah. fuck. We can take a trip, bro. Yeah, we can yeah. get out the yeah, city yeah, for I'm a weekend or some shit. Watch you kick some ass. I'm fucking down, man. Shot again. Shout out Small Axe Agency Capo, my man. I appreciate the plug, man. But yeah. Ryan Shaw time remember Shaw that. remember remember that. that shit yeah tap the fuck in man y'all know what it is it's O N E it's one six one five I got some shit to say to podcast chat arms TV we out of here yeah.